Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Foximity and welcome to a quick flashy Ash guide. It's based on what I've seen from playing and from what I've seen in Pro League matches. You can kind of see it as it sort of analyzes like a SWAT analysis, strength, weaknesses, etc. Let's go. Let's start off by asking ourselves what role she takes in a team. In team format, Ash is what they call a entry fragger. An entry fragger is a person who gets droned for by other teammates and is one of the first operators to enter the building. Entry a fragger. Meaning there's a high chance that you are the first one to get picks in the round. Now let's look at the strong points that make her the entry fragger. The first point is, she's a 3 speed operator, she is fast as fuck boy. She is fast as fuck, no literally, she is the flash reincarnated, trust me. Just look at this, she's running the marathon in just a short period of time. That's mad, isn't it? Let's go to her second strength. Her second strength is her amazing breaching utility. With this, she can blow up walls, doors, more doors, garage doors, whatever, anything, floors, or ceilings, or some pretty sneaky but well known places by now, like in this clip. Anyway, let's go to the third of her strong points, namely her messy hitbox. Well, this is probably going to be changed a little bit soon, but she's damn hard to hit right now. I bet you won all dodgeball matches in gym classes back in the day. All these strengths can make her pretty unpredictable. Use it to your advantage. Time to move on to the weaknesses. She doesn't have a lot of weaknesses, but the most obvious one is, I guess, her one armor. If the bullets hit her, she'll be dead soon. Her second and final weakness in this video is the same speed and unpredictability that is one of her strengths. Some people like to rush in with Ash at the very beginning of the round and that can be very risky because well, the enemy team can have a lot of traps prepared for you. If you go in like like a wildcat, then you're definitely very vulnerable to these traps like capcan traps or frost traps. Anyway, that's it for today's video on Ash. I hope the video wasn't too short. I hope the video wasn't too long. I hope it wasn't too boring. And I hope it was a little bit helpful. It's kind of a beginner's guide. You can see it like that. Anyway, thanks for watching.